Hi everyone, my name is David French. I work at Google Cloud Security. Today I'm gonna to give a brief demo on how to use Google Cloud Security MCP servers to tune detection rules in Google SecOps via a detection as code pipeline. Okay, so here we are in Google SecOps SOAR where we have a case that contains uh, just one alert in this instance. And the alert was generated by this rule which detects the execution or file activity relating to remote monitoring and management tools. So in this case, we've got this user, Jack Torrance, who's executed um, Screen Connect, which is a popular RMM tool. And if we go to the case wall, we can see this case was closed out with the root cause of normal behavior. And we can see that the analyst has left a comment for us to say, this case was actually a false positive uh, user Jack Torrance is authorized to execute screen connect in our environment. So the rule should be tuned to exclude those false positive events where the host name is not equal to this value here. So here we are in VS Code, and this is a project where I use one of our tools called Content Manager to manage my detection content in Google SecOps. So you can see my collection of rules right here. So in VS Code, I've got the client extension installed and it's configured to use Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview. And if we look at the installed MCP servers on my host, I've got SecOps Sim MCP server, and you can see various tools that it's got to interact with Google SecOps. So searching security events, for example, and we've got the MCP server for SecOps SOAR installed as well. So we've got actions like list cases, post case comments, and so on. And I use GitHub Actions to manage my detection content in SecOps. So I've got the GitHub MCP server installed as well. Okay, so in client's prompt, I'm gonna give it a task to do. So we're gonna say, search for recent SOAR cases in Google SecOps that are closed with a root cause normal behavior. And I want you to use the analyst comments from the case to do the following. So understand which rules generated the alerts that are in the case. And then using those rule names that generated the alerts, look for the rules in this local rules directory that I showed you a moment ago, because we're managing our detection rules as code. And then I want you to create a new branch and a pull request in the GitHub project that contains the proposed changes to tune the detection logic for this rule. So I've got client in act mode, but the permissions I've given it still require me to give it permission to carry out certain actions. And that's gonna let me kind of um, speak to what it's doing step by step. So we'll go ahead and execute that task. Okay, so client is asking permission to use the list cases SOAR action for the SecOps SOAR MCP server. I'm gonna go ahead and approve that. Okay, so it's retrieved a list of recently closed cases. It wants to get the full details for case number 4232. So we'll let it go ahead and do that. Okay, so client's got the full details for case number 4232. It knows that the case is closed and it's found a comment from an analyst to say that this was a false positive and that some tuning for the rule logic is required. Client has found the local version of that URL rule from SecOps. So it reads in the contents of that URL file and it wants to apply an exclusion where the host name is not desktop and this value here. You can see it's opened the file and applied that exclusion for us. Now client wants to create a new branch in my GitHub repo. And then finally, client wants to create a new pull request. Okay, that task is complete. So if we go over to my GitHub repo, we should see that pull request sitting there awaiting our review. Okay, here we are in GitHub looking at the new pull request. We can see a comment here that was left by Klein using Gemini. And we can see that the logic for our rule is about to be updated. We've added an exclusion in where the host name is not equal to this value we saw earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge these changes because I'm happy with those proposed changes. And then my CI CD pipeline my GitHub Actions jobs should push those changes out to SecOps. So in the output of this GitHub Actions workflow, I can see that a new version was created for the RMM tools rule 
that we looked at earlier. So if I go back to SecOps, we should see those changes reflected in the UI. Okay, here we are back in Google SecOps and we can see that the exclusion has been applied to my rule. If you'd like to learn more about our MCP servers for Google Cloud Security, you can check out the GitHub repo that I've linked to here. And if you have any questions, you can find us on the Google Cloud Security community. Thanks for watching.